All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about finding stationary points. Uh, what's a stationary point? So if I've got a function here, the stationary point, let's say there's my function. Stationary points are where the roller coaster is not going up and it's not going down. In other words, a stationary point is a turning point. That's a turning point. That's a turning point. That's a turning point. And that's a turning point. Now, the key to this is that at a turning point, the gradient of the function is zero. That's going to be the key to this whole whole thing here. So let's get started. Now, if I want to find the turning point of this particular function, uh, I need to find the derivative of the function. If I can find the derivative of the function, I can let the derivative equal zero because that's where the stationary point will be. So the derivative p dash equals um, 6t squared minus 10t minus four. So there's my derivative function. The derivative function tells me how steep the graph is at any point. So if I let p dash, the derivative function, equal zero, I'll know when the uh, turning point or the stationary point is occurring. So let's solve that now. Zero equals 6t squared minus 10t minus 4. Now you can choose to solve this however you want. You can use the quadratic formula. You can factorize it. Um, you could complete the square if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter, uh, but you should be able to get two answers for t. Two answers in this particular case because it's a quadratic, a positive quadratic with a negative c value. So it is going to have two, um, but it might have one, it might have zero. All right, so let's try it out. So I did some factorising off screen and we get t equals uh, negative one third or t equals two. And they are my stationary points. Uh, so what can, what, what can I say? At the moment, I can only say this. Uh, I've got a Cartesian plane, uh, something like that. Let's make it a little neater. Uh, now I can say that at t equals negative a third and at t equals two, um, I'm going to have a stationary point. So I'll just put a little dotted line in there. So the roller coaster has a turning point at negative one third and two. Uh, but I don't know where, uh, I don't know how high or how low the roller coaster would be. So I'm going to have to take negative one third and I'm going to have to take uh, two and sub it back into our original equation. Original equation original equation if I'm going to be able to figure out whether where where those stationary points are so uh, let's let's do that now so original function 2t cubed minus 5t squared 2t cubed minus 5t squared uh, minus 4t plus 13 so subbing negative one third into that uh, I won't, won't do it on screen here because it's a bit boring. Neg 2 times negative 1 third to the power of 3 minus 5 times negative 1 third squared minus 4 times negative 1 third plus 13. Um, now that's going to be a number. So I get an answer of approximately 13.7. Um, now it's at this stage that I should note that my question actually said for t is greater than zero. So I should actually be ignoring the negative one third because uh, the, it says t has to be greater than zero. So the equation only works from there to there. But I'm gonna scribble that out uh, because the question's more interesting this way. All right, so um, from negative one third, so the turning point is negative one third, 13.7. Negative one third, 13.7. All right, so there's one turning point. The other turning point was at t equals 2. So sub t equals 2 in. Now, if I sub t equals 2 into that original equation, I get uh, p equals 1. Really nice and neat there. So I get another one here. Uh, so 2, 1. So... Uh, 
that's that's the whole thing. That's that's what I've done. I found two stationary points of that equation. Uh, the way that I did it was finding the derivative, letting the derivative equal zero, solving using the quadratic formula or factorizing or completing the square, and then subbing those values back in to find the y coordinate or in this case the p coordinate. Um, now we're not gonna we're not finished with that question. We're gonna in a future video we're gonna figure out whether those um, whether those turning points are maximum turning points, high turning points, or minimum turning points, low turning points. But that's enough for now. We know how to find those station points using the derivative and letting the derivative equal zero.